Avery, McCarty, and McLeod set out to discover what this transforming factor is, which would in turn be the genetic material. They incubated the heat-killed S strain with the live R strain and put them under four different conditions. In condition one, they treated the mixture with protease, which destroyed the proteins in the bacteria. The transformation still took place. Next, condition two, they treated the mixture with carboase, which destroyed the carbohydrates. The transformation still took place. In condition three, they treated the mixture with lipase, which destroyed the lipids in the mixture. The transformation still took place. In the last condition, condition four, they treated the mixture with nuclease, which destroyed the nucleic acids in the mixture. The transformation did not, however, take place. These results show that the nucleic acids are the transforming factor. Many scientists, however, doubted this, so many more experiments had to be performed before this fact was proven and universally believed.